Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Scott from MuscularStrength.com and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take your ab training to the next level when training at home and you have limited equipment. But before we get started, if you guys enjoy my content, please make sure you click that subscribe button and also, I would like to know what you guys want to see in the next video. Whether you want it to be a dumbest mistake series or a versus series. So put your video suggestions down in that comment section. And while you're there, tap that like button. All right, guys. So this video came about, this video topic, because as you know, I'm doing my nuclei overload training for biceps. And I've grown at least an eighth of an inch so far. You guys can probably tell my biceps are huge now. Anyways, <laughs> that video's coming, the end result, once I'm done with it. But uh, in doing the 100 reps a day, I'm basically doing 10 sets of 10 repetitions, and I'm resting like 20 to 30 seconds max in between my sets. And instead of just kind of standing around, I thought, well, maybe I can do some nuclei overload training for my abs as well. As you guys know, it, it's okay to train your abs every single day doing things like floor crunches because your midsection can handle that abuse. And to be honest with you, I actually feel much tighter in my midsection after doing it. Even when I just kind of stand and flex or I'm not flexing, I'm noticing more lines and I'm noticing these lines are starting to come back in super tight as well. So I started off obviously just doing floor crunches. And this is probably what most of you guys do too. You know, you go home, you're like I want to do some crunches. Guys, like I'll even do floor crunches in between like waiting periods when I'm playing Call of Duty and I'm waiting for the next match to start. But a floor crunch obviously with proper form looks like this. You're down in the bottom position. You come up, go to your knees. This is a sit up all the way down, all the way up. Now what starts to happen is if you don't have great flexibility or core strength or if you're starting to get tired just from doing a lot of repetitions, most people tend to start to use a bit of momentum to get themselves to the top part of the movement, right? So the very, very, very first thing that you can do is find a place to secure your feet in order to maximize the efficiency of the movement without add, even adding any kind of weight or any other tips right now to make the exercise more intense. And so if you can find a couch or something to place your feet underneath or you can even put a weight or something on your toes, if you can lock yourself in place, you'll be able to get your butt much closer to your heels. And then as you perform your repetitions, you'll be able to utilize kind of pulling on the rack to pull yourself up. And then when you guys do the exercise, believe it or not, you're supposed to come down like this and let the lower part of your back touch the ground first and then the rest of your back. And then your shoulders are supposed to touch the ground. And as soon as your shoulders touch the ground, that's your cue to come back up the same exact way. So lower back hits the ground first, all the way back like this, go into a spinal extension, and then go back into flexion like this, and that's how you perform a rep. And now when I start to get tired, all I'm gonna have to do is kind of pull through my toes a bit more, and then I can flex my core and focus on maintaining proper form. Now, the second thing you can do is to increase the intensity of the spinal extension that you get at the bottom of the repetition, and you can do that using a pillow. And now I actually have some older videos, and I told Ricky about them, and he's like, what the hell are you talking about? They were called Ab Pillow Extreme. I, I even sold pillowcases that said Ab Pillow Extreme on it. I really did. I still got them somewhere. But anyways, um, I have a bunch of workouts that you can literally at home take your pillow, take your pillow and use to help increase the amount of spinal extension you're getting in every single repetition. Um, now, I would still recommend you guys keep your feet locked in, obviously, right? But basically, you can take the pillow and you can put it behind your back so that in the bottom position, it's gonna help elevate you to get more spinal extension. Also, for those of you where your back's hurt when you're doing crunches, the fluffy pillow can kind of help alleviate some of that pain. But what you guys can do is place that pillow underneath to force yourself into spinal extension to make the crunch more effective on every single repetition. And what you can also do is, if that's too easy, you can get a thicker pillow or you can even fold the one you have in half like this and then go all the way down and you guys can see a big difference here and then all the way up 
and that's going to increase the intensity of the exercise. Now, for those of you who maybe don't want to get your pillows super nasty, <laughs> you can pick up an ab mat, and it essentially does the same thing. So this is from Iron Bull Strength. I actually get a link to these. They're like 25 bucks. They're super cheap, but I'm pretty sure I have a promo code, so I'll stick that in. But if you notice on the pad, in the front, it's a bit higher than it is in the back right here. So if you've never done this before, you can use the lower elevation in the front and pin that to your back. And as you get stronger, then you can kind of flip it around and use the thicker elevation here to make the exercise more intense. And the third way to make ab crunches at home more intense is to start adding some weight. But what I don't want you guys to do is rush to the heavy weight. Believe it or not, it's gonna be a lot harder to get intense reps with this than it is with this. And let me explain. Now, most people, when they wanna do a weighted crunch, they just assume that more weight is better. And to a degree, they're correct. The problem, though, when doing a crunch is if you're getting yourself into position, so at this point we're applying weight, so that means we're already going into extreme spinal extension to maximize the crunch in every single repetition, most people grab a plate like this and hold it on their chest and then start doing crunches. Now what happens is from here to here, it might feel pretty heavy, but then as soon as you get to about here, it's like the weight doesn't even really do anything. And you can try to offset that by holding it above your head like this, and then coming up like that, but then what you're gonna notice is if you're doing high repetitions like 20 to 30 reps, your arms are gonna start to fatigue and then it's gonna kinda impede your ability to do multiple sets of high repetitions with crunches. Now, if you take a two and a half or five pound plate and you place it behind your head like this and then start performing crunches, you're gonna notice right away that you're maintaining a higher level of tension on your abs throughout the entire repetition, even when you get to the top, and then as you start to go back down. And because we're holding the weight behind our head, even though it's five pounds, it's gonna feel just as heavy as the 25 in front because of leverage, right? You guys know all about leverage and how it works. Holding it behind your head is gonna feel way hotter and more difficult than holding that same weight right here on your chest because it's closer to your center of gravity. So this is the third and final way to make your ab training at home more intense, and it's a combination of all three tips. Lock in your feet, get some elevation on your back to increase your spinal extension, and then toss some weight behind your head. It's that easy, guys. And if you enjoy this quick tip to help make your home training more effective, let me know by tapping that like button and commenting below. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. I wasn't kidding, guys. Ab Pillow Extreme workouts over here. You've got to check them out. Seriously, they're like 15, maybe 20 minute live workouts where I literally take a pillow and I show you how to utilize it to destroy your abs. And the thought process behind those when they were first created was if you were traveling and at a hotel and you didn't want to leave your hotel room but you wanted to train your core, just take one of their pillows and get to work. So make sure you check that out. And as always, download my app, Muscular Strength. It's the easiest and best way you can support me while still gaining access to my fitness program and my custom meal planner. So check it out. I'll see you there.